Hey guys, welcome to the video for guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're having slow Wi-Fi or internet connection on your iPhone. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you might be experiencing this internet slowness on your iPhone, but you can fix it by following these steps. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issue, the first thing I usually like to do is go ahead and pull down the control menu here and put your phone on airplane mode for a brief moment. And what that does is shuts down all the network and then you turn it back on so that if there's any network related connectivity issue impacting your phone, hopefully that will get resolved right away. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue is I recommend is most of the time when you're having issues, it's going to be on different apps. So I recommend is closing out all the apps you have open. So all you'll do is if you have an app open, right, you want to slide up your finger and then push it up so that it closes out the app and you want to close out all the apps so that if you have multiple apps looking to stream online or maybe download things it might impact the internet or the wi-fi connection it might be slow for you now after you have done that the next thing you also want to do on your iphone is that if you have a low power mode on for the battery you want to turn that off so if you go to your settings battery and if the low power mode is on, which usually gets turned on when the battery's 20% or low, you can choose to turn it on or manually have it turned on, I recommend is turning it off. And the reason why it is is that when you have low power or mode on, a lot of the functionalities are pretty much limited, which can make things like the internet feel like slow on the app. So turn that off as well. And also make sure your phone is at least charged up while you're at it at least 20% or more. Now, after you have done that, the other thing you want to check in your Wi-Fi settings here, if you go to your settings and you go to Wi-Fi, you're going to click on your Wi-Fi here. And the one thing you want to check out on your Wi-Fi setting is that this setting, low data mode, is turned off. Okay, you want to make sure for some reason, this should be off by default, but if it's turned on, go ahead and turn it off. And then the other thing you can do is, after that, is if it still feels slow, is that you'll go back to the settings here, click on this eye icon for the Wi-Fi that you're connected to, and forget that a uh, Wi-Fi, just like that, and then go ahead and reconnect to the Wi-Fi again. So I'll go ahead and reconnect to it. So all I'm doing is just, I entered my password again, and I'm gonna rejoin the network again so that you know, if sometimes over time your connection might be stale or having issues that hopefully resolve the issue for you. Now, after you have done that and you're still experiencing slow Wi-Fi, it's time to go ahead and force restart your iPhone. In order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another, and then you're going to hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So it's I'm going to press volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button here. So again, you want to ensure that when you press volume up and down, they're quick one after another, or else Siri will activate. And then you're going to hold this button until the screen goes completely black. And once I see the Apple logo reappear again, I will let go of that button. And now I have done is shut down the phone completely and reload the code of the phone so that there's any software related issue impacting the phone, it will resolve that issue. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data or anything like that. And the other thing I recommend doing is while you're doing this force restart to uh, fix your phone, sometimes it could be actually your modem and router. And what you want to do is that you want to unplug the power source for about a minute or so for your modem and router if you can locate that and then after a minute turn it back on and then make sure you can connect to the internet and it could be just that your modem and router needed to be unplugged uh, which does a sort of a, like a restart if you will like with most uh, technologies now after you have done that and you're still having issues the one thing i recommend is a uh, troubleshooting step is that if you have another device maybe a laptop maybe iPad or another iPhone, see if you can connect to that Wi-Fi, same Wi-Fi, and see if that has an issue there, like if they are slow on that device as well. And if that is the case, you'll need to contact your actual carrier or your company that provides internet and see if they can help because sometimes it could be the issue with the network itself instead of the iPhone itself. Now, if you still, uh, if it, if you find that the internet is fine in other devices, it's your iPhone, it's time to do this next step, which is going into your settings and then you go to general and then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to click on that. The reset that we're going to do is the first option here for reset. And then the reset that we want to do is reset network settings. What that will do is, again, delete all of your saved Wi-Fi connection. It will also go ahead and delete any uh, Bluetooth connected devices. Basically, anything connectivity wise will get reset. Your personal data like photo, video, apps will not delete it. But this is 
necessary in order to troubleshoot. So go ahead and do that. Generally, it takes about maybe 30 seconds to a minute to you to do a network reset. Now, lastly, if you did all of that and you're still having issues, it's time to ensure that your software on your iPhone is up to date. In order to do that, you're going to be in your settings. You go to general and then you'll go to software update and see if there's a software update available. And if there's a software update available, it will say download and install. Go ahead and download and install that. And if you're having slow Wi-Fi or no internet connection, you need to use your cellular data in order to download and install. But make sure your phone is at least 50% or more. And this kind of update usually takes somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes. So give yourself enough time. And hopefully after doing the software update, your slow internet is fixed and your Wi-Fi is working again if you're having issues. So that's it. I hope this video help you guys resolve your issue. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.